Hello and welcome to Emma Reads Reddit. Today I'm reading from r slash today I fucked up. But first let's play r slash drunk or a kid. Where I give you a real life scenario and you guess whether it was a drunk or a kid. This one was posted by hensonk141. Caught the microwave on fire because I didn't add water to instant noodles. But what do we think? Was this a drunk or a kid? Find out at the end of the video. Now back to r slash today I fucked up. We rock out, cock in, hosted this. Today I fucked up by taking Viagra. Obligatory this happened a few weeks ago. Live in DC and election results are a big deal here. After a week of pure tension the night after results came in the entire town turned into a giant masked block party with people banging on pots and pans, honking their horns and popping champagne at 11.30am. Had plans to hang out with a handful of friends that evening on the porch, but now we had reason to celebrate rather than just catch up. On the way to get drinks, I ran into a girl I'd spoken to a few times who always flirted, but nothing ever came of it. Friends filter in, we celebrate, go for a walk and come back to hang out on the porch when I get a text from the girl. She joins us and friends slowly filter out down to just one other guy. At this point, it's 2am and we've been drinking for 7 hours. She invites me over to see her new puppy. Long story short, sparks fly. It's clear where the night is going. I live alone so she suggests we walk back to mine. We make our way to the bedroom and she asks me to turn the lights off. Between the alcohol and the medication I'm on, it's clear that I'm going to have some trouble tonight. It's happened before with my meds, so I talk to my doctor to get a certain performance enhancing medication. Tell her, hold on, I've got the cure. Give me 20 minutes and we're ready to go. Grab the pill bottle off my dresser, pop the last three and get back to the show. No dice, this isn't happening. Shocked. ED meds always worked before, but I am wiped. I barely slept for the past 72 hours. Embarrassingly, I start to fall asleep mid foreplay. She assures me it's totally fine and that she's had a great time otherwise. Next morning, wake up super late and message my doctor to get a refill on both my medications. Trying to remember the generic name for Viagra so I go to my bedroom to look at the empty pill bottle. Melatonin. Turns out I took 15 milligrams of the sleeping medication which is three to five times the recommended dose. Too long, didn't read. Tried to hook up with a girl I fancied. Couldn't get a stiffy. Thought I took my meds to get me up and instead took meds to put me down. In the comments, late enough had this to say. I thought it would be difficult to read, but it wasn't hard at all. Jundin Scooter says, I found the ending anticlimactic. This next story was posted by Girl Cow Bev. Today I fucked up at the gynaecologist's office. It's that time of year and I just got back from visiting the doctor of the womanly nethers. So there I am reclining in the syrups, practicing my relaxing breathing techniques. These things make me nervous. And the doctor asked if I have a dog. My brain just could not relate what was going on down under and that particular question. And it was like, W, T, F. Okay, first of all, yes, yes, I do. I do have a dog. I love my pupper. And honestly, that hair does get just everywhere. And my dumbass instantly thought there was dog hair all over my coochie goodies. So I asked her, um, is that a problem down there? There? She paused just a moment. The kind of moment I realise now is the must not laugh in patient's face moment. She looked me in the eyes and carefully said, Your face mask. It has dog bones on it. I thought you might have a dog. Too long, didn't read. OBGYN asked me if I had a dog while looking between my legs. I thought I had dog hair there, but she was asking about my face mask with the dog bone pattern. There's a couple of similar stories down in the comments. 
When I went to get a colonoscopy, it was an off-site building for my doctor's office. Typically, he is in dress clothes under his white coat, but this day he was wearing jeans and cowboy boots. They had already given me the medicine to make me relax and I said, Typically, I don't let cowboys put things up my ass, but today I'll make an exception. He laughed hard and then looked at the anesthesiologist and said, Put her out. One time at the OBGYN, she was ready to examine me, so I opened my legs and she says, Oh, what a beautiful... Then she pauses because she can't remember the word. I'm thinking, what the fuck? And she says, oh, mermaid. I have a tattoo of a mermaid on the inside of my ankle. And apparently, she's beautiful. Thankfully, I've never had an awkward encounter with an OBGYN. This last post was posted by Stinky Cat Toes. Today, I fucked up by going too far with my superpower. Technically, yesterday I fucked up, and today I am abundantly aware. I'm in quarantine after testing positive, and my mother currently lives with me, so I'm confined to a single 7x9 foot room in my apartment. Needless to say, I'm running out of ways to occupy my time pretty quickly. Well, yesterday it happened. I lost all smell and taste. Weird. But at least it gave me something to do. I promptly drank black coffee, then moved on to greater challenges and ate an entire black licorice candy. Anise is the devil's flavour, with no effect. Then I had an idea. What about spicy food? So I hopped online and went to my favourite Thai restaurant. I figure this will be a last hurrah of sorts after I use my new superpower to kickstart the second half of my diet. For their green curry, they had a spice scale of low, medium, adventurous and native Thai. While I did briefly consider native Thai, logic got the better of me and I went with adventurous. It was the weirdest experience ever. My entire body was sweating. My eyeballs were sweating. I could tell it was spicy and tell it was painful, but in this weird removed way, where it didn't really matter. I also couldn't taste a damn thing. The only sensation I had was this sort of numb physical pain and a small voice saying, I think pain means you're supposed to stop. At this point, my edible kicked in and I'd been locked in a single room for five days with five more to go. And this is by far the most exciting thing I had going on. So I doubled down ate the whole damn thing, amazed the entire time at my new abilities. Here we are, the day after. My delicate New England tummy is paying for yesterday's ego trip. My apartment only has one bathroom and I have to coordinate trips with my mother so as not to put her at greater risk. I flew too close to the sun, folks. Too long, didn't read. Lost sense of taste from Rona. Got bored and high. Ate crazy spicy Thai food. Now everything hurts. In the comments, Pompolis pointed out this. If you'd been a true spicy warrior, you'd already know eating is only half the battle. (laughs) That's so true. Now back to r slash drunk or a kid. So who was the person who set fire to the microwave? It was a kid, probably like 15, had to put the microwave on the back porch to use it until we got a new one because it smelt so bad. Did you guess right? I thought for sure this was a drunk. Thank you for watching this video. If you've enjoyed what you have heard, please like, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss any of the daily content from Emma Reads Reddit. See you tomorrow.